what I maybe contributed different to the world of ducks is that I was uh, the first writer and artist who was doing it because it's what I dreamt of doing from a child. I was doing it for myself. I wasn't doing it for readers. I was doing it because I loved Barks' stories and uh, I always dreamt of creating Uncle Scrooge comics. What differentiates Italian fans from other readers? Well, uh, it's not in my opinion, it's a, a fact that uh, my father was born in Maniago, here in Italy. It's a small town north of Venice at the foot of the Alps. So uh, that's why Italian readers are very special to me. I always kept a list of stories, and then uh, one story that I'd been working up to for a long time the last story I did involved Glittering Goldie, and it was a Life of Scrooge story, you know, set in the past. I liked that story so much uh, that I knew I'd never do another story that I loved as much as I liked. I don't normally like my stories, but I really liked that story. It was really like an old movie to me. It had all the elements uh, of a great story that I just copied from lots of old movies I'd seen, movies from the 30s and 40s with Myrna Loy and William Powell and so forth. But I knew I'd never like any other story I did as much as I loved that one, so I said, I think I'll quit. <laughs>